What's up, YouTube? Just wanted to talk about uh, today. I really didn't get to get to my reaction of the uh, new head coaching or the new coaching staff for the Eagles. Uh, came out like two days ago, and I uh, just wanted to go over the coaching staff and my reaction on some of these guys. I'm not gonna go over the whole entire thing. Just like the important coaches, the ones that are that are that I really that I really care about about for a team. And starting with the offense, uh, our coordinator, Pat Shermer, I like. Guy who has experience in the NFL, was a head coach last year with the Cleveland Browns. Even though the Browns weren't that good offensively, he did develop players like Trent Richardson, who's looking like he, he's going to be a great back. Um, Josh Gordon, um, he got a good, he had a decent offensive line. Um, and before that, you know, a lot of people forget, like, he was the offensive coordinator for the Rams when Sam Bradford was in his rookie season when they made the push for the playoffs. And he did a decent job, I think, with Sam Bradford. So um, I like I like that hire. I thought that was a good hire. Uh, quarterback coach, we got Bill Lazor. I don't know. He was um, the Virginia offensive coordinator. I don't know a lot about him, so I really can't say anything about him. At running backs coach, we got Deuce Staley. Who, uh, if you're an Eagles fan, you should know. You should know he was. He played a couple of years here for us as running back. Um, he last two years, I think he was like part of the, the staff. I don't know really what he did. He was like some some type of assistant, but he wasn't the running backs coach. So now he gets promoted to running backs coach under Chip Kelly. Um, offensive line coach, we got Jeff Stoutland, who was the Alabama offensive line coach, which um, I thought it was the right hire. He has some NFL experience. And he did a great job down at Alabama, even though it was college level. But year in, year out, Alabama's had a monster offensive line, which has part and due to great recruiting, but did great coaching. So I expect great things from him. At receivers, we got Bob Bicknell, who was the Buffalo Bills wide receiver coach. Hopefully he can do some stuff with our receivers. He did a great job with Stevie Johnson over in Buffalo. So hopefully he can turn Macklin to Sean back to the well, at least Deshaun back to a Pro Bowl receiver. Um, at tight ends coach, we got the the old guy. Ted Williams has been here since Andy Reid started in Philly. He was the running back coach last year. He's back to tight ends where he was when he first, uh, when he first, I think when he first coached uh, with the Eagles. So he's back at tight ends. Now over at defense, um, I talked about it already. Billy Davis, defensive coordinator, was a linebackers coach for Cleveland. Um, defensive line, it's Jerry Azanero, who was Oregon's defensive line coach, I think it was. He, um, I think he pretty much got hired because he has football knowledge, obviously, but he's like Chip Kelly's best friend somehow. And so he somehow got the defensive line coach, and he's also the assistant head coach. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what he does. I want to see how our defensive line performs under him. I'm not, I'm not feeling really. Sh I'm not feeling real comfortable with this defensive staff. Um, we got two linebackers coach. First, we got our outside linebackers coach, which is Bill McGovern, who was the Boston College linebackers coach, and not really been too familiar with Boston College, but I've known they had some decent linebackers over the past couple of years. I don't know if that's part and do with him, but. Hopefully he can do some good stuff with us. And uh, inside linebacker, we got Rick Minter, who was the Kentucky defensive coordinator last season. At DBs, we got John Lovett, who was supposed to be the Cincinnati's DBs coach, who was um, this season, who was the Texas Tech DBs coach, moved over with Tommy Tupperville and his staff over to Cincinnati. So we will uh, we'll see. That's He's got tough, tough tests ahead of him. And then at special teams, we got Dave Tipp who was the Miami Dolphins assistant special teams coach last season, which I hope, man, it really can't be worse than last season. Like, it really can't. So, we'll see. Um, overall, like, I think it's, it's offensively, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with who he hired offensively. I thought Pat Shermer was a great hire. Uh, NFL experience. Uh, he, he's, he's a quality offensive coordinator. Um <laughs> like that i like the offense defense is where i have problems and this is it was important for him to hire good people the fact that in oregon 
he really didn't worry about defense. Like, his defense sucked. Like, let's be honest. In Oregon, their defense sucked. Their offense was amazing, but their defense sucked. And he needed someone to run his defense, a physical physical style defense. And I'm not liking none of these hires. None of, all these guys are pretty much college people, except for Billy Davis, who is the defensive coordinator. And, he, and I said in the other video, I don't feel comfortable about him. <laughs> not liking what he did defensively and uh, this isn't college man you gotta play defense week in and week out so we'll see what this what this staff can do you know we got mini camps coming up training camp in the summer so it's gonna be interesting to see what this this staff and this team can do there's a lot of pressure for chip kelly and his staff so uh let me know how you feel comments whatever just let me know how you feel guys peace